reviewers are very much concentrating on, on you being like this schizophrenic personality type of thing, like being very calm off stage and in interviews and then going totally mental, crazy on stage. Um, is, so is, is that some, some sort of schizophrenia for you personally? How do you look at it? No, I mean, uh, I think there's a time and a place to, to act like an idiot. <laughs> and I guess my, my, uh, when I'm on stage, I mean, that's the time when I just somewhat, you know, loosen up. I think, you know, I, 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 I agree that I, in some way I do have sort of A and B personality. I mean, I, um, at times I can be really shy and, and, and really vulnerable. And at times I could have a lot of confidence and I can be really outgoing. I think that also shows not only in our shows, but in our, in our music by listening to it. I mean, it's not always right in your face all the time. There's a lot of, you know, mood change in it. And it's just me basically just being honest with, my, with the way I am. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a typical mad person all the time or, or angry person all the time or a depressed person all the time. But I think I have all these things in me. That's what basically that I write my songs about and do the music about. It's just, it's just um, you know, typical life of mine. I, I don't sing about anything that I don't know about politics or anything that, that, that that, that I don't, you know, I don't see about anything that, that doesn't, well, not that doesn't affect me, but things that, you know what I mean, I don't know too much about, basically. I just, I sing about what I know, and what I know are my, are my, my emotions, the way I feel all, you know, every day. Obviously live, it's, it's, you know, it can't be as moody as it was when I was doing, um, recording the record, but, it, but I do go back there and it, and it is good to, um, it kind of takes me kind of away from the reality of, of me um, living kind of a, like a really fast paced life, you know what I mean? People think that it's, it's 
beautiful because you get to tour all over the world, but the reality of it is, it, is that I don't really get to see the world. I get to see hotel rooms and the bus, and, you know, and I'm, it's not that it's a bad thing, but it's, um, you know, my my home life is 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 just important to me as, as, the, as you know. Being... What about um, the video filming itself? You did it somewhere in... We did it in Los Angeles. Oh, you, yeah. It was a studio then? No, it wasn't a studio. It was, we did it on a lake. We actually filmed it on a lake, oh. but it, they uh, superimposed all the... I shouldn't be telling you guys this, but... We, uh, we actually filmed it in Australia, and there were sharks swimming around us, and I actually got bit, and I almost died. I think I do die at the end of the video. Uh, I think that's what's fun about making videos that you you can uh, you can just kind of pretend you know what I mean that that you're um, you know that that you're somewhere else. strong influence from the 80s. You know what I think it is? I think it's, it's generation. I think um, um, for some reason I missed the, uh, like the Kiss and the, like the Black Sabbath and the, you know, all the heavy. I, mean, I was like, yeah, well, I was a kid then, so I wasn't really, I mean, um, you know, I'm 24 now, so when that music was going on, I think I kind of missed out on it a little bit. And um, so when the 80s music came out, that was like the music that I was completely into. Do you really want to music basically grew up. I mean, Culture Club, and I was like, you know, you wouldn't expect that they, like, you know, ruled my, my life. That was all the music I listened to. So, um, you know, when I got in, in this band, I got introduced to heavy music, because uh, Stefan, he's a little older than, he's 27, so he was into all the heavy music. So he introduced me to heavy music. At the beginning, I just, um, I wanted to fit along with the music. I, I wanted to, uh, I was screaming a lot and, and rapping a lot, and because that was, that was what I thought should be with the music. But then once I started to realize that I should just do what I really love to do, and that's and that's you know the singers who I grew up listening to, like Robert Smith.
the whole part about um, being caught up in a scene, and that's one thing that um, that we try to, you know, uh, kind of break, try to break out of. And it's it's it sucks because I don't want to um, I don't want to to make it seem like like I feel like we're above all these other bands because I don't feel like that. I think all these other bands. Uh, you know, like Corn, whatever. I think they're a good band, whatever. I just think that we're doing our own thing, and I think the minute that we 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 become part of a scene, is you know people you know hype us up so much and say we're the next big thing. Well, then you know next year, then we'll, they'll say you know we were last year's thing. And I think we've gotten this far alone by just touring and playing our songs and having our you know our core fans. Is that it, it would be it would be terrible to get ruined by if, if you know on this whole scene was just to fall apart next year and then you know us to go down with. It.